This creative challenges feature is right now the easiest challenge to do to be featured. Hello guys, my name is Eric Su. Today I'm going to talk to you guys a brand new category of Behance feature. This category is called Creative Challenges. Uh, this category started featuring Behance project since April 24th this year. So as you guys can see, it's less than one month old right now. This feature features projects from Adobe Life Creative Challenges. Here's a tab about Adobe Life. Um, Adobe Life is made by Adobe. They have this channel where different designers, creatives, teach us about different creative fields. Uh, they have graphic design, Photoshop, Flasco, photography, illustration, usual, just like most of the basic categories. During some of the live stream, they will ask you to do some challenges. In, in these live challenges, you guys have opportunity to be featured. I, I done some challenges before a long time ago, and I think these challenges are very helpful for uh, learning. Uh, Adobe Life is really cool since they place professional designers to the studio and have them to share how they work. A lot of times, real time process, and you guys can see what they do well. My favorite part of Adobe Life is really just making friends in the live chat. I actually made quite a few really good friends in the live chat and then made project with them. Yeah, it's, it's a really cool, good place to make friends with really talented people and place to learn, of course. And even if you years of experience, I think Adobe Live can really help you. Before I watched Adobe Live, I already been using Photoshop for probably 10 years or more. And I still learn things from other professionals and as, as well as my uh, journey trying to learn how to use Adobe XD and then trying to become a USGI designer. I think it's a really good resources for everybody and it's free and have chance to get feature all the better. This creative challenges feature is right now the easiest challenge to do to be featured because not that many people know about it. That's one thing. The other thing is people that have day job probably wouldn't have time to come do the challenges. So it's really left to people that are learning and whoever just feel like, hey, today I have free day to do some challenges. Of course, as you can see um, in return, these projects do not get quite as many likes as the other features since they do not show up on many people's home screens. They have a lower follower rate since they're new. But the I think the challenges, I mean, the competition will pick up more and more people are going to hear about it, more and people are going to see this really cool new feature and want to do it. So I think right now is the time for you guys to get to it and grab those features while you can. It will help you in the long run. This is how you guys were able to do a challenge. I'm going to show you guys. So let's say if you go to one of your project, add it. Of course, you watch like the step one is watch Adobe live stream and then learn about the technique they're talking about that day and the what challenge they want you to do. But once you accomplish the challenge, you're supposed to come to discovery and then find the keyword. Say if you are doing a XD 
Adobe XD challenge, you will be typing XD daily ch challenge. And then if it's Photoshop, you will type in PS daily challenge. Yeah, and then those those will be fun. This project is not one of the challenge. I hope you guys like the video. I discussed about how to get feature in another video called how to get featured on Behance. This this video is only focusing on the new feature category create a challenge. If you guys want to find out all the other ways that you can get featured, go watch my the other video. Have a nice day.